Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Violet. How is everyone doing today? It's a fantastic uh, Monday evening here. We're going to be working on our Pokedex here in Pokemon Violet today. So, for those of you watching after the stream, I do want to remind you that we stream these videos live at twitch.tv slash unexpectedly random. We are here Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Central Time and Saturday and Sunday at 4. Make sure you follow us on Twitch to join the chaos and check out our streaming schedule for the current lineup. We also have Facebook and Instagram. Those are the best places. Wow, that was a strange little graphical thing there in the middle of the screen. <laughs> Those are the best places to stay up to date with any changes that may occur pertaining to the streaming schedule. And we have a TikTok and a Twitter if you're on those platforms and wish to follow us. That would, of course, be super cool. Otherwise, we are going to get to work here on our Pokédex collection. It's going to take me a minute to recalibrate what buttons are what because this is a non-standard... Uh, um, button scheme. Um, has the DLC been released yet? I don't know if the DLC has been released. We are going to get the DLC, um, and we'll play through it here on stream sometime. So I'll look into that after today's stream and see if it has released, if part of it's released, or where we're at on that. So might be something to look forward to for our next stream. We have Staravia, which we are trying to evolve into Star Raptor, and we have Pomo, which we are trying to evolve into Pomot on our team here. And the rest of it is mostly just zooming around, trying to catch things that we don't have yet. I think I have... yeah, I have an Orthworm, because I thought I got the Terra one, or the, the Mighty one. I don't remember what its official naming is. Boxes. Yep, there's Orthworm. We still need a triple segment dun dun sparse. The dun sparse. Um, and that's what I think all of these eggs are, are dun sparse eggs. Houndstone. Iron Jebulus. And hey, if we're a little lucky, we might even come up with some new shinies, like our shiny Sneasel that we... Oops. That we encountered. Hi, Kerhu! Welcome to the stream! So yeah, like our shiny Sneasel that we encountered just, uh randomly as we were wandering around, and Lechonk that we got early, early on. So that'd be cool. And then Arcanine was a uh, distribution. Alright, let's see... I mean, we're basically, we're looking for battles. We've got a Meowth. Hey, hold up, would you? Okay. I would. Oh, that Voltorb's gonna blow up. Ah, uh, poor Voltorb. <laughs> Tag tree thicket is up ahead. Up ahead isn't safe. You'll run into a bunch of delinquents. No, I won't. I already caught them. Although this rever room is uh, really causing problems. You're challenged by Veronica, the student. This music's pretty sweet. We got a greedent. Greedent. Uh, two Pokemon battle. Let's. Uh... Let's blast it with a Thunderbolt, because its accuracy is a lot better than Thunder. You know, I always thought that was a actual, like, smoke cloud over Torkoal, but it seems to be a protrusion of some kind. Let's we'll stick with the Pika. Gumshoes is uh, another normal type, I believe. Thunderbolt will, uh, make quick work of him. He's too low a level. Is that a Bramblin? No, that's the evolution of Bramblin, I think. Wow, it's a uh, Kung Fu party over there, it looks like. Wow, you're strong. 
Guess I didn't you didn't need my advice. Five thousand monies. Thank you for the cash. Any guys any of you guys shiny? I'd, I'd like uh, I'd like you to join my team if you're shiny. Sneaky, sneaky. This guy looks a little different, but I don't think he is. Okay. Ooh, a silly cobra. You're probably a ground type. That's gonna make it uh, problematic for our Pika. Bye, silly cobra. <laughs> he pulled a Dunsparce. Um, well, hello. You know what? I think I want to go talk to the guy at the Pokemon Center and see how many more trainers we have to fight. Ah, yikes. In this area before we get a present. Yep, Pikachu. Gotta have the mascot. <laughs> um, there is no guy giving out presents here. Interesting. I believe we need these Coley guys. This is Karakol. And then the little ones are Roly Coley's. Karakol. We do need them. Alright. Paralysis. You can no longer drive. <laughs> Ooh, ancient power, that's gonna hurt. Ah, uh, no it's not. I'm apprehensive about attacking him, because anything I do is going to obliterate the poor guy. Let's see, does Parkhole have self-destruct, or... I don't think it's got self-damaging moves. Let's just try a catch item first. Because if we can just catch him, then there's no need to actually attack him. But if we can't catch him, we'll switch out to our uh, false swiper. That'll work. Now, I don't know if we have a roly coly. We'll probably encounter him and find out. Tarkoal. Due to the coal tar created inside of it, the heat of coal on Tarkoal's back never falls apart, even when the Pokemon rolls around at high speeds. Send a box. Tarkoal. We do not have Roly Coley yet, so come here, Roly Coley. You are mine. Let's drop the paralysis. <laughs> and then we'll just throw an Ultra Ball. Ta da! Very nice. That was a weird sound. <laughs> oh, Orthworm, probably. Chunks of the surface of this Pokemon's body that have grown old and flaked off has long been used for fuel as an alternative to coal. Send a box. Blip. Oh, does Carcoal evolve? Honestly. It's an orthworm. Hi. Aww. I'm pretty sure we've got a kiwi plant. Because I believe we have a Kaparaja. Uh, we do not have a kiwi plant. Cool. Battle. Thunder wave. Paralysis. You fan. Thought there was any down there. Iron defense. Do 
Yay. And this will tell us if we have uh, Kaparaja. When it adds it to our bookshelf. Q-Fant can lift loads weighing five tons. In the mornings, it heads into caves with its herd in search of the ore on which these Pokemon feed. We do not have Copper Raja. Okay, good to know. That means if we see one out in the wild, we will capture it. Goodbye, Voltorb. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Rufflet are kind of aggressive. Maybe go down. Maybe it's a sleeping Voltorb. We'll fight him. See if we have him. Pretty sure we have him. We do have him. Okay. Um. Thunderbolt. It's not very effective. Voltorb fainted. <laughs> Guess I overcharged him. Do, 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 do. Hi, Q Fant. Yeah, we'll check it. Might as well check it. Varum. It's, it's evolution, that's a river room. Thunderbolt. Bye bye. <laughs> Yay! Pomo, level up. Oh, Varum Fume. I'm quite certain that we have, uh, ooh, a little bit of lag there. Quite certain that we have the, uh, Doug Trio already. Um, thank you. Boom, 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 boom. Wow, the room is kind of speedy there. Rufflet, Voltorb. Defense. Pretty sure we've got uh, rickety. Yeah. Uh... Bye bye. <laughs> it's super effective. A critical hit. Zapped. <laughs> I guess we should check in with the. Uh, is it a Bramblin or a Bramblegast? Bramblin. And we don't have it yet. Cool. Paralysis time! <laughs> Bramlin is paralyzed, so it may not be able to move. Oh man. I've been hexed.
Yay. And this will tell us if we have the evolution. Bramblin. Not even Bramblin knows where it is headed as it tumbles across the wilderness, blown by the wind. It loathes getting wet, which is funny because it's a grass type. Well, I guess it's a dead grass type because it's ghost grass. Bramblin has been sent to your boxes. We have... Ah, Bramblegast. So it is Bramblin and Bramblegast, and we don't have Bramblegast, which is the bigger, tumblier, older brother of Bramblin. Hi, Voltorb. I just need this. Thank you. <laughs> Kind of an empty cave. Smooth rock. Hi, Q Fant. Ooh. It's Rick Gasly. Q Fant, Diglett. Let's go up here first and take a look, and then we'll go in this cave. Oh, hello. A couple of, uh,. Punchy fellers down there. Wait, does that just go in a circle? No, it does not. It's the same Pokemon Center, but it's a different, uh, it's a different cave. Hey, gimme ghoul. Gimme those coins, you ghoul. I pity the ghoul. <laughs> Thank you. Do I have a Torkoal yet? I do not know. <clears throat> you know, that would be kind of a neat, uh... I do have a Torkoal. Kind of a neat, uh, cosplay to do. If you go to, like, conventions and stuff, dress up as Gimme Ghoul, and then when people find you, you can hand them, like, a like a chocolate coin or a candy coin. <laughs> it's actually kind of brilliant. Um, Thunderbolt. <clears throat> you wasted my turn. How dare you. Thank you. Do it again. Do it again. It fails if you use it multiple times in a row. Bye! Alright, we'll just go ahead and go into the cave since we... Ooh, it's a branching cave. Hey, hello. Wow. Did that young goose just evolve? Oh, sweet! Oh, I bumped into the, the wall goose. <laughs> I'm glad I could save you from that, uh, that prison, young goose. I mean, you're not much safer out here, but uh, at least you're not stuck in the wall. <laughs> so, if I target them, it shows me, and I won't have to interact with them necessarily. Hi, young goose. Oh man, you made me turn. How dare if he feel the wrath of the thunderbolts. Pika! <laughs> Varun. Meowth. Meowth. Oh, I just got varoomed over. Sorry, but there is not Varum for you. It missed. Shocker. Special defense? Nope, just regular defense. Seriously? Uh, I think that hurts a little bit. 
that's impressive because that was not very effective and it's significantly lower level, but that did a huge chunk of damage. Bye, Varum. Varum met his doom. I don't think I have a Meowth yet for some reason. Also, lighting glitches. Am I right? <laughs> It turns off the light every time I move the camera. <laughs> Alright. Paralysis for the meow. Ooh, wow, meow is paralyzed, so it may not be able to move. Ouch. Coins scattered everywhere. Okay. Ultra Ball. Probably don't need to be using an Ultra Ball on all of these, but it's uh, easier and more effective. It loves things that sparkle. When it sees a shiny object, the gold coin on its head shines too. Send a box. Does that mean we don't have a Persian either? We do not. We also need Golpin and Swalot and Driftloon. I hear a gimme. Ooh. What did I walk into? <laughs> See the ores were hiding under the ground. I found the gimme ghoul though. Bramblin. Whoa. Who invited you? Okay, now is this the cave that I came out of, or is this... Ooh! What in the Terra type S beyond did we just walk in here? Sure, why not? Psychic Paratype, that's fitting. I don't know, we don't have Espeon yet. It's level 50, nice. Get that Paralysis first. And it's a Terratype, so we can't kill it with a one-hit kill. Or with a, with a single attack. Oh, Espeon's got some kind of uh, ability that uh, paralyzes me, I think. Uh, so let's hit it hard with a thunder. Or miss. Dramatically. That will sting. Definitely stings a bit. Yeah, see? That might have been, probably would have been fatal if it wasn't terrestrialized. Um. <laughs> There's not any purple ones other than the Master Ball. I've just got one of these two, which either one probably would have been cool. The friend ball I was thinking because the, the gem on, on its head matches kind of the spots on the front of the friend ball. Let's try this one, see what happens. I don't think it'll catch on the first one. <laughs> yes, look at that. We need to buy some more of those. 
Love ball and friend ball. Espion. It uses the fine hair that covers its body to sense air currents and predict its enemy's actions. Send a box. Sweet. So we need Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flareon. Hey, Voltorb. How's it rolling? Oh, okay. <laughs> Bramblin'! Cause I'm a bramblin' man. And I'm never gonna change. Oh, roly coly. Okay. It's like that. Uh, that's a strange Pokemon, but uh, nope, 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 nope. Not doing the Varum. Hey, what Pokemon do I think they'll use? Probably ground types. Did you talk to me because you thought I'd use dragon type Pokemon? No, I didn't have any speculation as to why you would use dragon type Pokemon. Oh, because you're a dragon tamer. That, does that make sense? One would assume, well, it's a dragon type. It's one of the most mean dragon types ever, but it's a dragon type. <laughs> um, Thunderbolt. It's low enough level that we don't... Oh, what? Got the paralysis still. Nice shot. It's not very effective. That's grass on electric. And that means one more Thunderbolt will finish this battle. Appleton fainted. Thank you. You were right. It's dragons all the way. Thanks. <laughs> I gotta be totally honest. I didn't have any clue you were gonna use dragon types, so... That was, that was news to me. Go heal up. So we can, uh, refill our, our moves. It might be thundering here. That's kind of neat. Yeah, I almost ran into the earthworm. Hello. Please fix. Catching items I need. You do not. Well, that's problematic. I mean, I can get some more Ultra Balls while we're here because we're starting to get a little low. Um, only by an increment of 10. Because of that. Disappointing that they don't have 
Hey, there's the guinea ghoul. I thought he was on the roof. Disappointing that they don't have friend ball or heal ball. It's some pretty intense weather. Hey, that's a party of Q fans. <laughs> They're not aggressive, so. I tree thicket. Bramblin. Hey, why is Bramblin out? Doesn't it hate getting wet? <clears throat> hey, do you want to fight? Oh, uh, you want to fight? <sighs> I calculated it all, and I knew the likelihood you'd come talk to me was 100%. You are challenged by Gerard the student. Gerard, you are in for a rude awakening. Ooh, desk form or midnight form Lycanroc. Hmm. I wonder what we should use. Thunderbolt in a thunderstorm. Scyther. I think electric is pretty effective against grass, isn't it? That's what I thought. <laughs> or maybe it's bug. Whichever it is, not a good match. As far as he's concerned, it was a great match for me. I failed to calculate my chances of winning. Boing. Silly Cobra. Do we have a Silly Cobra? Oh, hello. Oh, I don't have... I don't have the punchy buddies. Really? Oh, sorry. I'm trying to look at the... Oh, what? I haven't ever even encountered a Silly Cobra. That's weird. Cool. Paralyze. Oh, but he's ground type, so it doesn't affect him. Hmm. That was a tail. <laughs> still got the still got the paralysis. Oh, that's great. Because he's not immune to paralysis, he's immune to electric type attacks. And because that's really weird. You would think that an electric based static status can or an electric based paralysis status condition it, um, would also be voided by the ground type. I don't know. I got what I wanted, so we're going to uh, Prima Day Pokeball. Or an Ultra Ball. And then the Punchy Buddies want to have a fight with me too. Ooh, nice. Single Wiggle. For the Silly Cobra. That means I probably don't have the evolution of him either. Silly Cobra's large nostrils are specialized for spraying sand, so this Pokemon is not very good at telling apart different smells. <laughs> Sandbox. It's Sand Snake Pokemon. Not to be confused with the superior Dunsparce, Sandaconda. The superior Dunsparce, who is a land snake. Well, hello. <coughs> Um, bonk. <laughs> okay. Get paralysis. This is the, uh, the paralysis slideshow. His attack rose. His defense rose. Well... Did your likelihood of staying in an Ultra Ball rise, too? Because that would be super helpful. It seems that it must have. Yay! Makuita Sweat. The Arm Thrust Pokemon. It stomps on the ground to build up power. It can send a 10-ton truck flying with a single straight-arm punch. 
box. And because we don't want him to be lonely. Ooh, we don't have Crab Roller either. Because we don't want him to be lonely, we'll pick one of his friends and send with him. <laughs> Paralysis. <laughs> Perfect. At least, at least this one's kind of color matched. It's the Guts Pokemon! It toughens up by slamming into thick trees over and over. It gains a sturdy body and a dauntless spirit. If it doesn't have sturdy as an ability, nope, it's thick fat. It lied to me. <laughs> Send a box. Okay, oh, what? Why were you standing in me? That's, that's weird. Bye! Okay, there's an item down here. I want... Thank you. Ooh, takedown. That's a new one. Mm, do we have... We do. We have a Doug Trio. We have a Diglett. We have him because we caught him earlier. Whoop, ah, it's coming for me. Take this. Feel it. No, no, I ran into it. It's like a road speed bump. <laughs> Has no effect. Well, that's a problem. I have to use two turns. I have to use three turns because I'm going to flinch. Get paralyzed. Oh, good. No flinchy. The wild diglet fainted. Bye. Okay, I... Well, I was going to say, I don't remember which way I was going, but I'm going this way because it's away from the tag tree thicket. Yep, almost ran into an elephant. A nugget! In a meteorite uh, impact zone. Okay, maybe just a mining zone. Um, Diglett, nope. Well, let's go check this... Uh Dan over here, I guess. Noibat, we've got that already. We don't need that, we got a Noibat. Roly coly coal. This looks like a guy that wants to fight. You wanna fight? You wanna fight? This is not, uh, yeah. This is a. Come on, let's have a battle of luck. Um, this is all about skill. Backpacker Lander! Impidimp! Hmm. Metronome? You can use any move in the game. Head smash, that's gonna sting. Also gonna cause recoil. Any kind of violent, like, uh, moves like that. Pretty much always have recoil, like take down and uh, those kind of things. They generally uh, recoil pretty bad. Is your luck good, or is mine just bad? Um, yours is just bad. Uh, Roly Coley, hey, I'll take this. Thank you. Thank you, Crane. Ooh, another Terra. I think it's a dragon terra place. Grabberaller, I need you. That was kind of convenient. 
battle. Paralyze. Don't battle. Blue and purple. Quick ball might be a decent match for him because of his yellow spiky hair stuff. Yay. <laughs> there goes a crab rot and crab on the Crab brawler shell. That seems uh, kind of mean. If it loses its pincers, they'll re go re they'll quickly regrow. The pincers are popular ingredients in paella since their shells produce a tasty soup stock. Um. Okay. Send a box, and we'll confirm that we have crab almondable. We do not. Eh, choodle. Why must you be this way? I mean, you just watched me, uh, <laughs> just watched me obliterate the other guy with a electric move. Why would you, why would you volunteer? Where did my Crabominable go? There he is. <laughs> All right, Thunder Wave. not paralyzed enough. Alright. Now he's white, blue, and purple. He looks like a dive ball, really. Yeah, dive ball is probably about the closest we got. It doesn't have the purple, but uh, it's going to take a bunch of them to actually catch him. Yeah. Good move, because it's paralyzed. I may have to lower his HP if I'm gonna actually catch him in a dive ball. Okay, we're gonna swap out to... Garchomp. The only thing is if he has something that's self-damaging, that could be problematic, but I don't I don't think it does. There's nothing that comes to mind as being a common crab abominable move. My shark is enormous, in case in case you didn't know that. Look at the size of my guard job. <laughs> He's so big. Alright. This is kind of our best case scenario for catching him. Still gonna break free. Stings a bit. Ooh. Nope, body slam has recoil. Regular slam does not. It almost seems like I was having better luck before I brought him down to 1 HP. I got a dive ball back from that? Interesting. Though its punches are powerful, this Pokemon's movements are sluggish. It blows icy bubbles from its mouth to immobilize its opponents. Send a box. Yay. 
Hi, Psyduck. Ooh. Ooh -hoo. Dragon type. Mm, change Pokemon. We're gonna try this. We need him. He's a he's in he's a need. Um Challenge alone. Because I don't have anybody that's going to join me. So we'll take the auto group. I don't know if we can do it. He's a dragon terror type, which means ice type should be strong against him. But I think he's a fire base type, which means his attacks are going to be fire type. Maybe he's not. He's Seru Ledge? I think is the name of it. Okay. Um, Blizzard. No, Snow Snake. Snow Snake. Snow Snake. Eesh. Fire type. Oh, inflicted a burn. Interesting. Um, Blizzard. It's got a higher chance of hitting because we've got a snow going. Don't kill me. Okay. And it's gonna hit. Okay, the blade hurts, but I'm my stats are boosted because of the snow. We could do this. Sunny day, is that gonna mess up my blizzard? It did. Okay. Snow escape. There goes the burn. Come on. Hello, Wisp. That hurts. I don't like that. That cuts my attack. Ouch. Okay, Blizzard. We froze him! Aw, oh, but she thought him out. Why would you do that? I don't ever see a, an actual freeze go on. And that's gonna faint. No, it didn't faint. But the burn will faint after this move. And that gives him extra health. I'm not gonna, if I can terrestrialize, I'm not going to terrestrialize until after I faint. Ooh, I got maybe one more move in me. It's still snowing, so let's blizzard. Oh, Psycho Cat's gonna faint me. As soon as we come back, we'll terrestrialize. We'll make sure it's snowing. Still. And then we'll hit it with a blizzard. Okay. It's still snowing. Parasolize. Blizzard. Go. This takes so much time. Also, where did my target go? <laughs> That's no big. I guess if you used Sunny Day, that would have been bad, but... Come on, we are running out of time. It's not gonna be enough. Ouch. Oh, because it boosted its attack. So the burn's gonna faint me after this move. And we're gonna run out of time anyway. I had a better team. And we got one more. Or that's toast. If I had more ice types in here, in the group, then it would have been fine.
Bye. We'll try it again. Let's see if I, th I think Glaceon's holding the icy rock. Oops. <laughs> yeah, it's holding the icy rock. Um, Never melt ice versus icy rock. Oh, snow will persist longer than usual. a healing item that somebody in here has. Oh man, this is my... Mm. Um, draw a selection box. in the wrong box when I uh, was doing stuff earlier. There we go. Um, so yeah, there's somebody in here that... Uh, as a held item, the shell bell, I think. Yes, I want your item. And then I'm going to give it to Glaceon. Now, if this doesn't work, we'll swap it for the Never Melt Ice. And we'll try that. See if boosting the attack will be better. Wow. <laughs> now, we do have Chien Wo. Or Chien Pao. Wo Chien is... I don't know why my brain was... Overlaying those. See, and normally Glaceon is a really strong, um, evasive Pokemon. I don't know why it was having trouble in that, uh... That battle. I assume its attacks will stay the same, but I don't remember for sure. Not Glaceons, obviously those are going to be the same, but several edges. Mm, I do not 
have a good set of monsters in here. Get snowy. Good job, Glaceon. Alright. Hit that blizzard. Actually, what I should do is go Ice Beam. So I can hold the blizzard for when I'm terrestrialized. Weak armor, so your defense is down. Psycho cut, that's gonna hurt. Ice Beam does a chunk too. He's poison. Good job dodging the attack. That's awesome. Keep it up. Ooh, there goes my snow. Oh. Come on. Psycho Cut is not a fire type, so we'll go snow. Psycho Cut doesn't. The reason it's significant is that it doesn't. Oh, and the grassy train, our seed sower that, um, Arboliva used, um, gives us health back. That's, that's actually a good one to have in here. Plus I get Shell Bell. Okay, I can terrestrialize now. We got snow. Let's go blizzard off the terror. Because if I can hit it hard with a boosted terror type attack before it does a shield thing, maybe we can get ahead of this a little bit better. Ooh, that's gonna burn. Dodged it! Good job, Glaceon! That's what I was talking about. Okay. Now it's not poisoned. Come on. Dodged it again. Good job. Solid damage, but it's not gonna be enough if I'm doing it on my own. Bitter blade, that's gonna hurt. You know it's weird? I'm pretty sure the time goes faster after it uh, energy gathers around it. Come on. It doesn't wait for me to attack. Why am I being forced to wait for it to attack? Ice Beam does more damage. Come on, break it. It's gonna be close, we might. This thing doesn't keep stalling me out. Ah, the snow's gone. Come on, hit it hard and break its defense. There it goes. Come on. Break its stance, that's what it was. Nullified stat changes, that's okay, I think. Let me attack. Are we gonna do it? Are we gonna do it? Ice Beam should be fatal. Let me get one more move off. Be fine. Somebody attack it, please! Please! Yes! Should work! That should do it! Oh, I'm so happy that Blizzard hit there. 
you pass. Yes! That was awesome. I'm actually surprised that Blizzard didn't miss there. Yes, we're gonna catch it. Do I have a purple thing that's not a Master Ball? I do not. Uh, we're just gonna go Ultra Ball. Whoosh. That was intense. It was so close there at the end with the time. Yes. Rock on. I think that's a new Pokemon. If I remember right, it's kind of a pain to get its previous form to evolve into Cerulege, but I'm not 100% sure. Perfect. Cerulege, an old set of armor steeped in grudges, caused this Pokemon's evolution. Cerulege cuts its enemies to pieces without mercy. Awesome. Char Cadet, that's right. And we have Char Cadet, but we don't have its second level evolution. That was a really good, uh, good encounter and a good battle too. We need a Slowpoke, so we'll take him. Um, paralysis. That Arbor Leva, Ar Arbor Leva, Arbor Leva, It's the evolution of Smalu. Um. It was pivotal in us surviving that, really. Because it kept using the uh, seed sower or whatever. That was able to heal us. And then the shell bell, of course, too. Helped a lot. I think I used my only pink one on the other guy. Uh, no, we got heal ball. That'll work. That's a pretty good match. Of course, it's going to take tons of them. <laughs> I will use False Swipe if I need to. Yay! Ooh, could you imagine an Audino in, in a heal ball like that? Slowpoke, it is always vacantly lost in thought, but no one knows what it is thinking about. It is good at fishing with its tail. Send a box. And we can check its evolutions here. We don't have Slowbro or Slowking, so we'll need some more of them. Crab Brawler we got. Um, I'm half tempted to go ahead and get another slow poke so I have it on hand for evolution purposes, but drain punch. Why are you punching drains? It seems uh hazardous. Um let's go ahead and go over here. Boing Deerling Ooh a Tauros? A Teratauros. An angry Teratauros. Is he gonna Terra charge at me? Or is he just gonna stand there and make funny noises? Hi, Meryl. We have that Tauros, so I don't think. Oh man, I ran into a rookie. Oh no, you made me nervous. That's unfortunate for you. Hmm. I don't have a Meryl, so we're gonna take this one. Meryl!
<laughs> Gotta love that paralysis when it's on somebody else. All right, now... My first thought is Dive Ball because Water Type, but honestly, the Great Ball is a better match. It's almost exactly the same color scheme. And there is a Terra Pokemon literally in my feet right now. <laughs> it's presumably the Tauros, but uh, that is way too close for comfort. Aw, oh, man. Aqua Ring. But it failed. Sweet. Meryl, the Aqua Mouse Pokemon. The oil-filled tail functions as a buoy. So it's fine, even in rivers with strong currents. Interesting. And... I know we already have Azumarill. We need Azurill. Ah, Tauros. This is unacceptable. I did not consent. <laughs> On the bright side, well, it's not gonna have electric attacks, it's just an electric type. That'll work. I don't think I need it. Bye bye. Oops, 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 oops. Oops. Sweet, Magnemite. The metal uh, texture is really cool in this game. It's like actually shiny and metal and it looks really nice. And it makes the, the gold colored shiny Pokemon like Magikarp just look phenomenal. Um, it's electric type, so I'm probably not gonna be able to paralyze it. Not with this attack, yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Gyro Ball! Sting a bit. Not too much, though. Um... Yeah, I don't really have a silver colored one. I'll just go Ultra Ball. Since I can't use paralysis. <laughs> Is, uh, pretty simple. Magnemite, the magnet Pokemon. It moves while constantly hovering. It discharges electromagnetic waves and so on from the units at its side. Send a box. I think we already have a ton. Nope, we don't. Electrode we need as well. Oink Cologne, Oink Cologne, Murkrow, Murkrow and Oink Cologne, um, that's not the jump button, he's province, area one, hey, a little Leo, oh, I thought that deerling was a different color because the flower on its head. I'm like, yes, please. Core of a squire. Me! <laughs> Ooh, Tauros protecting a uh, Leo. You, except now they're going to charge me. Ah, uh, stop it.
Yes, I know. I should have probably just fought it, but it's a... Uh... There's a cave over here that uh, caught my attention. What on earth was that sound? That was not a Diglett sound. I'm very quite certain that was not a Diglett sound. Young Goose. Gum shoes. Young Goose. There's a sable eye. Bag on. Ooh, I don't have a bag on. Come back here. Done the way. Bonk. You know, sir, you really you're gonna look best in a dive ball. I have a problem. You're not gonna want to get caught by a dive ball. <laughs> Told you. He's also incredibly close. I'll try a dive ball again. This one doesn't work. We'll switch to the Ultra Ball. It's tempting. It's tempting though. I'll try again. <laughs> it goes all the way to the last wiggle and then it's just like, ah, uh, nope, psych. Well, that one didn't. Ouch! You know, there's not a... I don't think there's a specialty Pokeball that catches dragon types better. You're doing so good. That's, not, that's gonna be fatal. Maybe not. Please. Please just stay in the dive ball. Come on. That one's fatal. Nap time, Pika. You know what that means, right? Guard jump. It's time to show this bag on who's in charge. Get false swiped. Stay in the ball. <laughs> I just wanted to be in the same color ball. Seriously, you little dinosaur. That snow runt over there is having a really hard time. Oh no. Scary face. You made me slow. <laughs> Stay in the dive ball. <laughs> Finally. It was worth it. Bag on the Rockhead Pokemon. It's belief that it will be able to fly one day is apparently the influence of information carried in its genes. So it keeps a note in its pants that says, I will indeed fly one day. And then it turns into Salamence. We don't have a snow runt either. There's no runt like the snow runt. Oh, I don't have my paralysis, buddy. Because Pikachu went to take a nap. Um, I guess we're gonna do this. Rip. That was cold. All 
right, Snow Runt. You're colored like a taco, and I don't have any taco catching devices, so... <laughs> we'll just go Ultra Ball. Boink. 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 That'll work. I'm pretty sure I've got a Glalie already. Ooh, Staravia level up. Staravia wants takedown. No. <laughs> snow Runt, the Snow Hat Pokemon. It is said that a home visited by a Snow Runt will prosper. It can withstand cold of negative 150 degrees Fahrenheit. That's like even colder in Celsius. <laughs> I don't know the conversion factor right off the top of my head. It's like nine fifths plus 32. Nine fifths times Fahrenheit plus 32 or something. Um, and then it's you reverse it to go the other way. Send a box. I don't have a Glalie. I've seen a Glalie. I haven't caught a Glalie. Or a Flo Flosslass. Frostlass. Zoom. Hey, any Copper Raja over here? I need one for uh, for research purposes. Hey, you. Coin. A single gold coin. He's a brambling man. That, that's Voltorb. Well, it was the Pokemon formerly known as Voltorb. Crow. All right, now we're in town. Yes, I have been having some nice battles. I have a present. Five trainers. Once you defeat seven, you get a prize. Okay, heal please, so I can have my Pikachu back. I think with that we're gonna go ahead and wrap up for today for those of you watching after the stream i do want to remind you that we stream these videos live at twitch.tv slash unexpectedly random we are here monday through friday at 7 p.m central time and saturday and sunday at 4. make sure you follow us on twitch to join the chaos and check out our streaming schedule for the current lineup we also have facebook and instagram those are the best places to stay up to date with any changes that may occur pertaining to the streaming schedule and we have a TikTok and a twitter if you're on those platforms and wish to follow us if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. It helps out the channel. It helps you find additional awesome content like this. And we will see you next time. Of course, until then, stay random. <laughs>